I was shocked at what this sounded like. Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today we're taking a look at the Sony HT-A5000, a 5.1.2 channel Dolby Atmos soundbar. There's a lot to unpack here, so I want to make sure we cover everything from the design to the connectivity and, of course, the audio, which we will have a sound test, so make sure you guys stick around to the end for that. So, to start, let's go over the dimensions. This is kind of a bigger soundbar coming in with a width of 47.6 inches, a height of only 2.6, which is good, and a depth of 5.5 inches. Now, even with its size, it is still pretty simple and sleek. It's mostly made of a textured plastic with a metal-like grill on the front. There's also some slightly different grills covering the top firing drivers on the top of the soundbar, which I really like. This bar is supposed to come with two built-in subwoofers, one on the left and one on the right, and they're supposed to help with the bass, but I really think they match that mid and high frequency really really well I still think you need a subwoofer but we'll kind of cover more about why in the audio section one other thing in regards to the stand is that although it might be you know small enough to fit and not obstruct the view of the TV it is pretty wide so if you have one of those TVs that has you know two legs in the side to side make sure that it'll fit under or in front of it. If you're deciding to mount it on the wall, totally fine, then that doesn't apply to you, but it does come with a mounting bracket, which is cool. The soundbar does come with a remote, so you can adjust the settings. However, I don't think it's the coolest soundbar remote that I've ever seen. It definitely gets the job done, but it also comes with some screws, power cord, and then a six and a half foot TV center speaker mode cable, which is actually used to turn this into a hybrid speaker with the TV, which we'll talk about later as well. And also, as previously mentioned, the wall mounting brackets. Now, the HT-A5000 also has a small interface on the front of the bar so you can see what input you're on and the volume as well as other settings. On the top right of the bar are some touch-sensitive buttons that blend in really well and just have an overall nice design. You could change the input, power it on and off, activate its Bluetooth, or just adjust the volume and access different music services like Spotify. So it's very helpful to have those things you know on the bar in case you don't have easy access to the remote and if you guys are enjoying the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really does help me out now like i was saying earlier this soundbar does come with a remote but if you would prefer to control it a different way you can connect it to the sony music center app the hta 5000 also integrates with smart services like amazon alexa Google Home and Apple AirPlay. The only thing it's missing is the voice assistance, which is okay for most people. Soundbar is usually on the other side of the room connected to your TV. So, you know, I don't think it's something that a lot of people are expecting. As far as casting, it does have Bluetooth, Chromecast built in, Apple AirPlay 2, and my favorite, Spotify Connect. And the reason it's my favorite is if you haven't already heard me talk about it, essentially what it does is let you stream that music directly from your phone to the devices on the network. So if you're in your car and then you get home, you're listening to music, you can just unplug it and cast it directly to your system and seamlessly play. Super fun feature that I like to use a lot because I'm a big Spotify guy. And as far as physical inputs, it's definitely not lacking there as well. It comes with three HDMI 2.1 ports, an USB and that S center out port, which connects to that cable that we were talking about earlier. If you connect it to a Bravia TV, you actually get to use your TV as a center channel as well to add to that audio, similar to some other features that we've seen from other brands as well. So definitely take advantage of this if you also have that Bravia TV. Also, if you're pairing it with a Bravia TV, I believe you have some more you know, customizability on the actual operating system as well. If you're looking for, you know, a recommendation in terms of TVs, I recommend the Sony X90L. I think it's a great TV for the spound bar specifically. You can obviously pair it with something, you know, a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but that's kind of probably the best bang for your buck. And yeah, that's pretty much everything other than the audio. So let's talk audio. What makes the HDA 5000 so unique? Well, the fact that the subwoofers are built in. This is a 5.1.2 channel soundbar. Sony has some pretty good audio features, but at the end of the day, if you don't consider a soundbar for your TV, you're going to be missing out. As George Lucas said, and I agree with, sound is at least 50% of the experience if not more. So make sure you guys are investing in a sound system. If you don't believe me, watch this clip and you tell me which one is more tolerable. So this is an example of 
amazing video quality with terrible audio quality. Let's switch and see what sounds better. Now our video quality has decreased, but our audio quality has gone through the roof, major improvements. What do you guys think? So yeah, basically something that you wouldn't typically think of, but if you have a really nice picture and you're not pairing it with good audio, you can be quite underwhelmed. And you know, it's just something that you're not really thinking about until it happens. So yeah, with that being said, let me know what you guys think of the HT A5000. If you guys want to pick one of these up, all the links will be down in the description. We really do appreciate your support. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the sound test. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Waltz so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these and we'll see you in the next one.